This tutorial is for how to create a study in MoveBank. A study contains a set of data collected from animal-borne sensors. First, to create your study, you'll need to log in. This will direct you to the map page, but you're going to want to click Studies at the top. This will take you to your list of existing studies. Uh, if you are just now creating your first study, this list should be empty. So we'll click New Study at the top. You'll want to fill out the details of the study as correctly and completely as possible. For the study name, we recommend it stay under 240 characters, or about the length of a tweet, and contain the who, the surname of the PI, or the name of the research institution or organization, the what, or species name, or common name, the when, which would be the year or season the data covers, the where, which is the geographic area the study covers, and the why, or a brief phrase describing the objective of the study. An example of a good study name that hits all of those criteria is Movement Strategies of Galapagos Tortoises, data from Bastille Rousseau et al. 2016. In this case, since this isn't going to be a real study, I'm just going to call it MoveBank Study Demo. Then you'll need to provide a contact person. This individual is responsible for fielding inquiries about the dataset and should maintain up-to-date contact information. There should also be a plan in place to transfer this responsibility in the event that the contact person no longer wishes or is able to fulfill this role. Next, add the principal investigator. This is the primary person overseeing the research. If they do not have a MoveBank account, you can provide a name and email address or physical address by clicking Enter PI Details directly if PI has no MoveBank account. The contact person and PI boxes will auto-populate with the account name of the person creating the study, but these may not always be the people you want to use as the contact person or PI, in which case you can click Select to search for someone else's MoveBank account then add them as a contact or PI. Now, as I mentioned before, if the PI does not have a MoveBank account, you can click this box here, then you'll add their name, address, or email. Uh, in this case, I want to remain the PI, so I will uncheck that box and then search for my own account again. And that will fill that box back in with my information. Next, you can add citations. These could be for manuscripts or other published works associated with the data set, or you can provide a citation for anyone who may want to cite or reuse your data in the future. We recommend citations be formatted in CSE, which will be linked in the description below. And you can also use HTML to add spaces between multiple citations and to link to DOIs. The Acknowledgements section gives you an opportunity to shout out any landowners, stakeholders, partner organizations, field assistants, or other authors relevant to the data. The Grants Used section is where you can list the details of any funding acquired for the study. The Study Summary acts as an abstract for the dataset. It should briefly describe the objective, methodology, and results, as well as include key words to aid in data discovery. It should essentially expand on your study name in greater detail. Then you'll need to provide a study reference location. A study reference location should be coordinates for a location that is important to the study, such as a nesting site, a homing site, or the headquarters of the research institution. If you have the exact coordinates, you can type them out, or if you prefer, you can choose a location on a map. So we'll pick right here, then we will move this up and click OK, and that'll fill out that study reference location box for us. Please make sure that you get your latitude and longitude correct. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a study marker way off in the middle of the ocean uh, for a terrestrial species. Also, please don't put 00 for your study reference location. We should always strive to provide the most complete and correct data possible, and very few people are doing work at the North or South Poles. <laughs> Lastly, set the study type. Test studies are temporary studies intended for short-term use. They are fully private and are automatically deleted after 90 days. So. 
if you are intending to work on your study long term, I would not recommend setting it as a test study. Research studies are publicly discoverable, meaning anyone can view the details we are filling out now, but the data are only accessible to those designated by the study owner. So you do not have to be afraid of anyone gaining access to your data if you set it as a research study. We're gonna set this as a test study since it's just a demo, and it's gonna give you that little warning that it will be deleted after 90 days, and I'm gonna click save to create the study. You'll then be directed to review and customize the study's permission settings. These will be covered in depth in another video. For now, we'll leave it as is and hit don't change. For any questions or concerns, contact us at support at movebank.org.